growing up, this was a mostly black neighborhood. I was safe. I could ride my bike everywhere. I could go anywhere and everywhere in this neighborhood. But then as I got older, I felt like it's weird. I was safer and more free to run around as a kid than I was as an adult. I've been stopped by the police in my lifetime. I've had shop owners in the neighborhood threaten me. My memories of next door were people saying, there's a suspicious looking black man walking around the street. It could have been me going to get a soda or going on a walk to get exercise. I think the news coverage about George Floyd had started, but it was just I wanted to go walking. I rarely post my feelings, but I just, that day, it was too much. I couldn't do it anymore. Today I wanted to walk again, but I could not make it off of the porch. Then I called my mother, Lenitra, and she said she would walk with me. I still kept my ID in my pocket and my phone in my hand, but I walked. I can't breathe. I can't sleep. And I can't walk. I was like, I'm going to share my heart, but I didn't want to. I literally obeyed God. I heard the voice, the voice say, do it. And I'm like, no. And he said, do it anyway. I remember leaving the house saying it might be 10 people that come. It was 60 or 75 people. When we got home, everyone was like, oh my God, I missed it. Can we do it again next week? I walked out of my house and you could not see my street. Go Sean! Woohoo! There were kids in the yard holding signs that said Black Lives Matter. In their pretty bows and their fluffy dresses. It was the most beautiful thing. I think it did my heart good. Because I think those are the ages you learn biases and prejudices. And for them to learn to see something good and to see people of every color and every nationality and every sexuality walking together, it didn't matter. We were just taking a walk. Get to know someone else, get to know their story. No matter who you are, you're somebody's neighbor, and if you get to know somebody, your biases change. You don't get rid of fear overnight. It doesn't wipe away. But I have hope. I have a new found hope. Yes. One neighborhood at a time, one smile at a time, one conversation at a time. It's gonna take work, but we've all gotta take our own small steps. And my step just happened to be taking a step off my porch.